All right, so today we're going to work on uh, on finding shade and shadow for these. So we have top and front views of our different objects. <clears throat> so the way we're looking at it is if we have our object. Actually, look at the bigger object. Kind of the standard way we look at shade and shadow is we put the light right here. So it's coming down at a 45 degree angle this way, the 45 degree angle going back, and a 45 degree angle going that way. So it's going like just right from the, the corner at 45 degrees in all three directions. <clears throat> so that, that's usually the, the easiest way to, to, to do shade and shadow. And so on the top view, like that corner right here, it's going to cast a shadow this way. In this view, the shadow is going to go down. If I had a side view, the shadows would go towards the back and down at 45 degree also. Okay? So it's, yeah. And what, besides like aesthetics, what is the purpose of shadow? Like it, everything else seems to have like a practical application okay. where you're like unfolding something, but. Can anyone come up and have an idea of why knowing where shadows are going to be is important? But you can do it at different angles also. It's the same principle, we're, just, we're going to do it at 45. But why would you want to go to know where, where the shadows are? Installing solar panels on the roof? Yeah, do solar stuff. Uh, passive. <laughs> in, in, arch in architecture, it's a big thing. Um, passive, figuring out where the sun's going to come in. and to, So you're going to have to do passive solar where you have, like, you see houses where they've got, like, uh, windows there, roof, and the roof there. So the uh, windows up here, like a skylight. So those sun can come in, but then when it's up here, it's not going to come in. Uh, e eaves, you want the eaves to block it in the summer, but let the light in in the winter. So in architecture, it's a big thing in knowing where the where the sun where the sun's going to be and where the, the shadows are going to hit. And everything. Um, for Mechanical things, it's not really. The only thing I can think of is if you want to fit. <coughs> like, let's say you have a bolt or like some kind of one component that you want to shadow to make sure that it'll fit on your second. Component. But that's not like a shadow that you think of, it's just sizing up like the no. profile of something. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, the main the main reason would be architectural, but it, like a mechanic would be if if you want something to, to be back and you want to make sure that it, the shadows were cast, you would, we wouldn't see that thing. I don't know why you would do that. Apple might be concerned about that. Um, but it's mainly an architectural thing. Um, but it's something that to know how to do, and it uses kind of all everything we've been doing all already. Uh, it uses projections and matching things up and all that. <clears throat> so, um, and then I'll show you how we do it faster. Um, and if you do the 10 class, I'll kind of give you the, a preview of what we use in 10 to figure this out really quick. Um, so, we come from here. We only have one thing that's above the ground, right? And so, we want to figure out. Where is this going to have shadow on itself, and also where it's going to have a shadow on the ground? So I'm going to draw just a line. Are, there, are these corners around the sides going to cast a shadow on the ground? Those are on the bottom. They're on the bottom, right? So there's a plane there. They're not going to cast any other shadows. It's just going to be where they, they are already. So all we care about is that top point. We're going to go there and just draw a line at 45 degrees. So we know that that shadow point is going to be somewhere along there. Right? Okay. How do we know where that point's going to be? Um, it's kind of like something we've done already. A lot. So we know this point when it hits the ground, it's going to be somewhere all along that line. How do we figure that out? 
Well, it's going to come 45 degrees. Yeah, it's going to be 45 degrees point. down like this. So just wherever that 45 degree line hits the ground, bring it back up. Bring that back up. We're going to go from here. 45 degrees. And I just use the tracking to do that. So I went from here. Went over that point to use my tracking. And I came out while I was at 45 degrees. And I clicked. And then I draw it up to there. And that point is going to connect back to that. And that, right? Because this top corner is connected to there and to there. Right? So it's going to be there. And it's also going to connect back to this corner, but that's already going to be in the shadow, so it's not going to be anything new. So we're going to have shadow there. Are we going to have any shadow on the front view? Are we going to see any shadow there? No, because if you come from here, our, our 45, 45. There's nothing blocking this plane, right? There's nothing blocking this plane. It's just just blocking that. So, and that's all. That's all done. Questions on that? I did a hatch. And when I did a hatch. I just use a solid pattern. Okay. Oh. And that's it. Yeah. So, so I, I need to know which 45 degrees. Like, because it's all, the shadow is always going to go that way 45 and that way at 45. And if we had a side view, it would go 45 degrees on that. And that's just, if you had a specific value, so if you were trying to figure out where the light was going to come through an eave on a house or hit by hit by an eave, then you'd figure out, depending on the time of the year, what angles the sun's at, and then you'd use those angles. But just for this general use, we're just using 45s for here. It makes it easy. Any other questions? No? All right, so let's... Do you want to do the square or do you want me to skip the square? No, we'll do it, but we're going to have to do it anyway. And I'm just going to move those up a little bit. So we can get it a little bit bigger. But as you use your 45 degrees on every yep. one of So, bottom again, bottom, it's going to be right to the bottom, right? So I don't care about that. but. I still have the top corners I need to worry about. I have four top corners. So for each one, I'm going to draw a line at 45 degrees from that same corner. Line at 45 degrees, touch the bottom, and then come up. Notice about those lines right there. Parallel. They're parallel because they're at 45 degrees, right? But also they're the same length. Are they? Yep. Why are they the same length? Is this the same height all the way across? So these lines are in the same length. Those are going to the same length. So in this case, since that's all the same length, I can just take one of those and copy it, right? Save me from projecting a bunch. But if things are different heights, then I couldn't do that. This 
one don't need rain. So that's going to be the shadow down there. Is there going to be any shadow cast here? In the front view? Is anything in shadow? No. This side? This side? This side? Yeah, this yeah, side right here. The so light's not hitting it, right? Because if I do that this way, it's getting blocked by this plane before it hits that. So there's not going to be any light on that side. So right here, this whole thing is going to be in shadow also. sense. And it's the whole, th why is the whole thing? Or should it be the whole thing? Or should it be cut off some? Whole thing, not the whole the thing. The coming down as a 45. So would it would the light would it just be the top triangle triangle? Now that's the question. If the light is coming down this way, would you see some of this light, or would it be all dark? It's coming this way and that way. <coughs> Would it Just that corner lighten this up. at all? Just that corner part would be dark. Yes, Isn't this about like what I just did there? Is there any light on this face? No. You guys on this side, can you see? Is there anything, any light on this face? I can see it. I know if I turn it enough, there he gets it, but it's not lighting up just the back corner, right? No matter how far I turn it until it gets, like, until it's up. So no, it's going to be dark the whole face. Because as the light's coming in here, even if it's a sharp angle, it's still going to hit, it's going to go off the top of it. It's not going to light that face, it's opposite. So what about this one? That you think about how that's going to be. <clears throat> What's going to happen here? so I can draw on it. Is kind of like the first one where you start with the front view and then you draw 45 down Yep. So, can you can you tell what the 
what the shadow is going to look like at all? Something like an L, right? Something like that. Is there going to be any shadow on the on the front? No. What about the top? What's it going to look like? So like, a, like from here, it's going to angle a little bit, then it's going to go up, right? Yeah. It's going to angle for the vertical edge. And then once it hits that corner, so that this is that edge. And then once it hits here, it's going to go back, right? So like that. What's going to do up here? Is it going to go straight up or is it going to angle? So it's going to angle at first and then what? Then it's going to go out, right? It's going to, the angle is for the vertical edge. Come back in. Come straight then it's down. Come down, down or down at an angle? 45, 45, Come back. Just a little bit and then again. It'll be the same distance as your first shadow on top. So it should be that wide? And then come back for this vertical one going down? Yeah, but the, the vertical distance will be the same as that first angle. I mean, the, that but, uh, whole distance? <coughs> Are you saying come back like this? Yeah. So the, the first line you drew. Yeah. Like that's bottom. going to be the, the, the same up. distance above. Oh, this one? Yes. Yeah. It'll be the same okay. back and then it'll go straight out. So you, is it, it looks like that? Hmm. I have a head shaking. Why not? Because it's hitting like that top skinny piece is hitting like from an angle, so it's not going to be like that width. It's going to be a yeah. different width. Yeah, right? not just this width, right? Yeah. We're concerned with, it's going to be actually that, right? Because this whole piece is going to be blocked. Look, when I get that angle, this edge and this edge are all going to be part of that that back. So it's actually going to be from this part is going to block light also. So it's going to down something like that. So it's going to have a look kind of like that. It's just like we had the, the straight edge here for this piece. Part of the straight edge for that also. So that's kind of like what it's going to look like. So now let's do it. <clears throat> We're going to go to the line. And this one right here, that's a nice, easy one to do first. So we come from here, down to 45. Start working on the, the back side. So this is That's what we were saying before, right? 
just that that's how it would appear to be. But then once you take into account this piece here, because this is that corner. But now this this corner also is going to be blocked until that. So we go from there back up. That goes to there. So this corner, the same as the front corner. That's show the front corner, right? And this corner is a shadow of the back corner. And the front and back corners connect, right? Right? Yeah. Yep. Front and back corners connect here. So they have to connect in the shadow also. That's where we get that vertical line there. So if that wasn't evenly spaced out, that wouldn't be just a straight. Just the, the way that the sizes work out of it. Just make it a billboard. So that would be where the shadows are. So we can do the same thing in 3D Max, where I've got that, that block built there. And we can see, if I zoom out here, shadows are. Just like that. So this is 3D Max. It's all about rendering. That's all it does. Uh, this is the, the Drafting 10 class. Next semester, Monday, Wednesday at 1 o'clock is where we get into this. Uh, it has no prereqs, um, but it'd be good to at least know a little bit about 3D. Um, but all the drawing we do will be in there. If you can, if you have drawn experience in other 3D programs like AutoCAD or SolidWorks or Inventor, you can import that into here also. So and we'll cover that. But we'll it'll be mainly about modeling in 3D Max. Um, and then rendering and animation in Max also. <coughs> and in Max we have options um, uh, so, so I can tell it where I am. So I can tell it I'm in Elko, Nevada on today. So that, at whatever time. And then it, it knows exactly where the sun is at that time. And then I can change where, where north is to get it so it lines it up correct. And then it's going to pump it in and Give me exact lighting for that exact time and date at that location. So, so if you're interested.
instead of you know to do this more realistically and a lot easier, that's the way to do it. <coughs> um, so what about this one? What's going to happen here? Shadow's gonna be kind of the same shape, yeah. going this way, right? Yeah. Is there gonna be any shadow down here? Just a little bit up here, right? That's it. What about? Is there gonna be any shadow down here? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. What? Just like here, we had part of it blocked. Oh. On the circle, we're we gonna have anything that we can actually see that's blocked. The sun's going to hit it there, right? But we can, so this part of the circle is going to be in shadow, but we can still see that in the front view, right? So we are going to have part of it that we can see that's in shadow. And also by doing this, by drawing it out at 45, so we know where the sun is going to hit. So we know down here on this side, we can figure out where it's going to be shadowed by, by the other piece. <coughs> so this, in order to figure out where the shadow from this is going to hit this one, really care about it at the quadrant, right? We care about where the shadow from the top piece is going to hit this one at the quadrant. So we're going to kind of do it backwards. Instead of projecting it from the corner here up, we know where we want it to. We know there's going to be a shadow here, but we don't know where it is. So we're going to start there and go back. Now from here we're going to project down to find that point. Um, it'll make sense in a minute. I promise. <laughs> So, we know there's just going to be a shadow on this side. So that's what we're, we're coming from here, back. And from here, we're going to go down to there, right? So we don't care about where the, top, the shadow from the top is. We care about the shadow from the bottom. And from here, we're going to do our 45. And we know from here that it's already going to be on the side, so that's our point. Does that make sense? We know from over here, our rightmost extreme is going to come from here, down to there, and an angle from there. So we know that that's going to be our, our shadow point for the, for the right side. So we know that everything in this side is shadow. Right? We know that all this. This part of it is shadow. All of this is shadow. So all that's shadow. So we just need to find out what that's going to look like between that point and that point. So you know, the part above that line is going to be shadow. The part below it's going to be light. What's that going to look like? Is that going to be a straight line? find that out, right?
just remember when we did, we talked about intersection, intersections of objects, we had circles going together, and we just pick a couple of points, and we just project them to figure out where they're going to meet. It's doing the same thing. That point, that point, where, where's the shadow going to hit them? So it's going to go up and then back down like that. So we're going to do a spline. Here, to there, to there, to there. And also a line from there. So we can do that point, and that point too. Let me do just the top right now. That would be it from the top. We were looking at just the, the top corners. And they would have the same thing. The bottom corners. So they would get that. That's the shadow of what top is being, right? And from this one, we'll get the same thing.
And that really doesn't matter, right? So it's going to be all in that shadow. So really all I care about is Questions? Alright, so, so you have those three, or those four. Then we have a four sided pyramid, a wedge, and then another little piece here. Kind of just like what I just did, but instead of having a circle on the top, a square on the top. Which means that the shadow here will be easier. The shadow down here will be a little bit more difficult. Okay. Questions? <coughs> 